Hello and welcome to an online tutorial that will teach you one way in which to create a yearly calendar using your favorite photographs in Adobe Illustrator. This is a great exercise to get to know Illustrator's basic features and functions and a fantastic tool to showcase some of your best photographic work. In this tutorial I'll be using version CS5 but it is compatible with all versions past and present. So let's get started. So this is the basic layout that we're going for and it's really simple in its structure but once we get up to this stage and once we get to know Adobe Illustrator a little bit better there's almost a limitless amount of things that we can do to this but with this document basically all I've done is place a photographic image for my featured image um, and I've used two months per page and that can be easily changed to have one month or even three or four months per page if you like. I've used a series of guidelines to align all the uh, text and the dates. Um, if we zoom in a little bit further, I've used a heading uh, for each uh, month and also added the days of the week. And also, just in this case, I've just got some dummy text to represent the dates, but that will be later changed to suit whatever year you want the calendar to be. So I'll zoom back out. Once I've got this initial layout, I've basically just copied the artboard um, and then changed the feature image and also uh, the titles of the month um, and done that on a number of occasions to um, create the rest of the pages. So this is basically what we're after to begin with and it all starts with starting a brand new canvas. So I'm going to call this calendar. And if you're using Adobe CS3 and above, you'll have the option to choose artboards. Um, and if you do have the option, uh, we'll just leave that at, at one. When heading down to the size, take a bit of consideration to how big or small you want this calendar to be in the end. I'm going to choose A3, which gives us a bit of room to play around with, but you can easily change that to whatever you like. Head down to orientation, just make sure that is set to uh, portrait. And we'll hit OK. Now to begin with we're going to create the days of the week and also the dates. Um, so we'll head over to the rectangle tool and before we draw on our canvas we'll head down towards the fill and the stroke. So I'm happy with the outline to be black but in this case I want the fill to be transparent. Um, so I'll just select none for that. Now before we actually draw this out on the canvas what we can actually do is click once on the canvas and that gives us the, the option to choose what dimensions we want this square to be. I'm going to make this 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. So in this case, I'll just leave it the same as it was before and click OK. So basically what that's done, as you can imagine, it's drawn a perfect two by two centimeter box on our A3 canvas. Now what we're going to do is add to this. We'll select it, go object, transform and move and with this option we're going to move it vertically to um, to create the um, space for the days of the week so what we'll do is we'll go horizontal 0 millimeters vertical 20 millimeters and before we do anything what we can do is just preview as to what that's going to do so obviously that will move it down uh, 20 millimeters but instead of hitting OK what we can do is hit copy and now that's created two boxes uh, one right on top of the other so now we're going to grab this top box and what we can do is use one of these anchor points with our selection tool and drag it down and it's really up to you how slim or wide you want this um, second box to be but I'll just move it down to about halfway so now we'll head over and add some text so I'll go over to the type tool now I'll just click outside of the boxes for now and type in Wednesday. And when I grab the selection tool, it's well worth checking uh, the paragraph and making sure that the align is set to center. So it's a little bit easier to work with in the next uh, few stages. And from here with the selection tool, I can drag it into the top box. I'll head over to the corner anchor points and just size it down. If I hold down shift, it keeps it in proportion and I'll just position that in, in the center there. And we'll head over to the type tool again and we'll click outside and type in 31 and we'll move that in the top 
left hand corner and size that up and hold down shift to keep it in proportion. Now from here we can obviously change the fonts and positions and what have you and that's totally up to you but it's well worth getting it exactly the way you like um, now uh, rather than later because what we're going to do is now duplicate this one box with the Wednesday and 31 um, several times over. So we want to make sure it's exactly how you want it. So what I'll do is I'll just zoom out holding down control minus just give us a bit of space to work with I'll just move it to the left hand side so what we can do now is use a similar technique as what we did before but we'll select everything on that canvas head over to object transform move um, in this case we'll go horizontal 20 millimeters we don't want to go vertical at all uh, we'll just preview that as you can see it's moving across 20 millimeters and we're going to hit the copy button now before we do anything else what we can do is press Control D uh, several times to uh, complete the week so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday now we've got our uh, days of the week um, basically now we've just got to get all our dates to complete the month so what we'll do, I'll zoom in just a little bit but what we want to do is select all the 31's and the box below so I'll just grab all those I don't want to take the Wednesdays all the top box and um, we'll head up to object transform uh, move and in this case we'll go down we don't want to go across horizontal we want to go downwards so we'll try 20 millimeters vertical and we'll preview that that's exactly what we want to see so we want the 31's and the box all attached um, heading down 20 millimeters so we'll copy that again and if we uh, do what we did before if we click control D it should duplicate um, or repeat the process so we need five of those rows and that basically completes our first month so we'll finish that off by just adding a simple title so we'll just call this one January I might even just left align that because I want to place it just to the left of the month and I can change that at a later stage but I'll just leave it like that for now now what we'll do just to, um, I'm going to add two months per page um, but you can quite easily leave that as is and just size that up to suit the page um, or suit the um, dimensions of your page if you like or if we want to add two months per page we'll just undo that what we can do is just select everything that is on the um, page and if we click to drag it across before we let go of the mouse button we can hold down alt and also shift now alt will copy and uh, copy whatever you've selected and shift will keep things in line which is pretty important so it sort of locks it in and when I let go of the mouse button now I've got two months I can select all those grab the corner anchor points and size it down to uh, fit in the page now I just move that across it's always pretty important too to just provide a little bit of space towards the edge of the page uh, because we certainly don't want to get anything cut off in the printing process but just quickly and easily that's looking pretty good um, so the next stage before we start altering the dates and whatnot we'll um, insert a an image or a photographic image and with Adobe Illustrator we can copy and paste things into the canvas but it's if you've got a image file um, stored on your computer uh, we can do something called placing it so file place the image I've got a few birthday photographs here and I'll just choose this one and press place now with uh, with my most high resolution photographs you're probably going to get a very big image placed onto um, the canvas and that's not necessarily a bad thing at all but what we'll need to do is we'll have to um, just zoom out control minus and we just have to get these anchor points and size it down so it fits into our canvas or A3 page. I'm holding down shift and it keeps it in proportion so it doesn't skew it at all 
or distort it and I'll just roughly place that into our canvas like so and just size it down a little bit more now I've got an option on here that allows me to align things now I've got this uh, the edge of this um, image is in line with the edge of that month and I'll just do the same thing to the other side so it just looks nice and neat and we don't want things um, floating around in space we want to keep things nice and neat and aligned now if you don't have that option turned on what we can do is uh, turn on rulers and use guidelines to ensure things are aligned and we can uh, view our rulers by heading up to view rulers show rulers and with these rulers what we can do is we can click and drag off them and place them where we would like so in, these are great to um, in this case align the image to the months and as you can see this January might need to move over just a fraction just so it's um, in line with the image now I don't want to take the guideline with me so I'll just make sure I select off that we can lock those guidelines as well so you don't accidentally select them but get around that for now and we'll just do the same thing to the other side so we know it's nice in line and it's very quickly that's looking pretty good but I might just move it over a fraction so that's looking pretty good so with the template complete now we can start focusing on fine-tuning this design and working on the aesthetics and this is something that we should carefully consider because essentially we're going to be copying this artboard or this canvas and duplicating a number of times to make up the rest of the calendar a lot of the content should remain the same as in all these 31s and even the titles can stay the same that is the last thing that we really do and the last thing that we should change on our calendars um, but what we can do is obviously change the font the size the placement how they align with the image we can rearrange things to a basic degree we can also select some of these boxes and change the fill We'll just add a grey tone to the um, days of the week. One thing that won't change month to month is the days of the week. So this is something that we can change now. And I'll just do this quickly by double clicking on it with the text tool. Um, some calendars start on Sunday, but in this case I'll just leave it on Monday, Thursday just double click Friday Saturday and Sunday what we can also do is select various later on um, if we want to highlight various birth dates or special events we can select the um, individual boxes or dates and change the color of, uh, of the date we can also insert text icons and images inside these as well as we move on but once we get up to this stage now we can um, think about duplicating this layout and what we can do is head over to this little icon here and it allows us to alter not only layers but also artboards in this case we have one artboard or A3 page and we can rename this by clicking on this icon here we'll call this one January February and click OK but what we can also do is if we drag and drop it onto this little icon here it enables us to duplicate that and copy it into a brand new artboard so from here we can delete the image and we can place a new one so just find another one very quickly and just size that down hold down the shift place a new featured image and once again I've got some an option that allows me to line up the images nicely but once again you can use rulers and guides because it's really important that you keep each and every page looking nice neat and consistent just move that across and from here we can change dates also in April 
and we can continue continue that process right through to the very end, um, right through to November and December. So f to finish off, once we've created all our artboards, then we need to go back to the months and change all the 31s um, and change the date so it best represents whatever year you're creating. So we can select those, um, double click and type in new figures and you can also select and delete the ones that aren't required and that's basically it so that's how to create a basic calendar using your own photographic images in Adobe Illustrator I hope you enjoyed the tutorial you got a bit out of it check out my blog www.myartnotes.com and my name is Paul have a good one bye